Who knows best about the education of your children, you or the government? Well, if that's true, why doesn't government give you more options when it comes to finding the best education for your child? Paul Weber is president and CEO of Family Policy Alliance. Hi, Paul. Hey, good morning, Stuart. This is an area that Family Policy Alliance is going to be engaged in for years to come. Tell us what it is you'd like to see in the realm of education that will help families. Well, Stuart, that's exactly right. In the Family Policy Alliance, we know that every child deserves an education tailored to meet their unique God-giving strength. And no one is better to determine that than the parents and families that bring these children up. And we're seeing this in uh, schools all across America where school choice and academic freedom is the norm. Um, When parents have the opportunity to direct their own tax dollars to schools where their children will benefit, that creates an atmosphere in that state that all, all schools now have to perform to a higher standard, whether it's public schools or private schools or charter schools. We're thinking that when parents can direct their own funds, it lifts the bar, it lifts the bar for all schools. My home state, Arizona, uh, is true here. We're a wonderful organization called Center for Arizona Policy. We just worked very hard to promote something called it. And that's where parents are allowed to use their own tax dollars dedicated to a fund. And then those funds then sent on to the school that fits their child's needs. And in some cases, even homeschooling can be done that way. So in Arizona in the next few years, almost every child is going to be eligible for educational savings accounts. And that's what we're really all about. And the way you're describing this, it goes far beyond elementary school in those first years of education, well into young adulthood. Yeah, I mean, why should this uh, concept stop when you graduate from high school? It should certainly apply to the college level as well. After all, if those funds follow the student, then the student should be able to direct those funds to the university of co- or college of their choice, free from the encumbrance of government. But yet in California, the opposite was true. The government was trying to restrict students and where they could apply those funds, which then negated private Christian colleges and universities from benefiting all because those private Christian colleges and universities tailored their academics to uh, a sexual ethic that aligns with Christian values. So whether it's grammar school or universities or colleges, those funds should be able to flow with the student, not be dictated by the government. My understanding is you're also thinking of this beyond graduation, that that it also uh, uh, connects with professional licensing, that piece of paper you have to have in so many fields in order to to, to work. Yes, yeah, Stuart, you know, that's exactly right. I mean, these uh, these liberal policies are now following us from birth to uh, into our vocational life. Certain licensing boards across the country are saying, we're not going to license you unless you think and act the way we want you to. So our whole approach to educational freedom is from kindergarten through vocation, through your work life, so that you can work according to your God's call in your life and be licensed effectively, but not leave your conscience and your dictates of faith at the door when you go to work. You know, Stuart, it's, it's, it's just amazing to me that the left so much wants to uh, talk about choice and free speech, but when it comes to educational freedom, they're the first ones that want to clamp down on that. Where the true discrimination. Anything else you'd like to share before I let you go? Stuart, I want to thank you for the time. I want to thank all of our viewers for uh, supporting us, for standing with us, for forwarding this video on to your friends. We are all about academic educational freedom and Family Policy Alliance. Please stand with us as we stand with you, your children, and grandchildren for generations to come to allow us all to train a child in the way that he should go. Very good. Thank you, Paul. God bless, Stuart.